Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Elise, thank you so much for being here. And for those of you who are not new to my channel, then you already know this space, you already know what's good. Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my November favorites. You guys know I come through with the come through every month with my favorites. I absolutely love hub um filming favorites videos and getting on here sharing what some of my favorite products were and most importantly most importantly my favorite songs because i always 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 include my favorite songs at the end of this because who doesn't love some good music okay so yeah you guys that's pretty much it for the intro i want to keep it short and sweet for once in my life and yeah let's go ahead and roll into my november favorites all right, so not too, too much to talk about for beauty products, but before I get started, let's talk about the elephant in the room. How cute, how cute <laughs> is my new background? I absolutely love it. I've never done anything so festive like this, but I'm all the way here for it. This little tree was just a project for me, but I absolutely love the way it turned out. It's so festive, so pretty. And then this back here, I saw this on Pinterest and I totally copied it, went to Home Goods, got me a good little, is this called a lantern? I don't know what you call this. I don't know what you call this piece, but then I filled it with some little um, ornaments from the tree and I just think, oh, it looks so cute back there. So I'm absolutely loving for it. So you already know, this backdrop is going to be permanent for all of December and maybe all of January. Depends how lazy I am to actually take it down. So yeah, anyways, that's not what this video is about. So for favorites, my very first favorite for the month um, is actually something that I've been using for a while and I actually never actually talked about it. And over here sitting here the other day, I'm like, oh my God, I have to share this with my YouTube friends. Who am I? I wanted to talk about this rose hip oil. This is an essential oil. I wanted to talk about this for many reasons. For one, it is winter and depending on where you are in the world, I'm in New England, it gets butt cold over here. So my skin tends to really dry up. Just the whole regimen of my routine tends to just have to alter because of the fact that it gets colder, it gets drier, and these are very, very dry months for me when it comes to my skin. I naturally have oily combination skin, but in the winter time is when I experience a little bit of more of that combination part of the oily combination because my skin is still oily, but it does have dry patches more than it usually does for the rest of the year. So I have been using this because of the fact that my skin is a little bit drier. So what I do is usually I wash my face at the end of the night. Afterwards, I apply some of this and then I go in with my moisturizer. I love this oil for so many reasons. For one, I do notice that my dry patches aren't as prominent and as visible as they were. I get really gnarly dry patches right on my chin area right here and then on the sides of my nose like I get some weird dry patches and it just looks flaky and pretty weird so what I do is I really make sure that I emphasize that rosehip oil on those areas of my skin so I love this oil because it's not too heavy it's kind of like a dry oil so the minute you kind of rub it into your skin it kind of almost disappears in a sense leaving not too much of an oily residue but you still notice that it's there it's very lightweight it's very comfortable so i absolutely recommend that you guys do try it out well it is inexpensive i got mine on amazon i will leave the link down below but you can find it anywhere honestly just make sure you're getting the organic real deal so just to show you guys what it looks like it should be pink oh god it's dripping everywhere it should have a little bit of a pink hue like this so i pretty much use this on my skin mainly and that's why i'm talking about it today but i won't lie i've used this in my hair i will put it in my hair right now i have the driest hair of earth you can use this for anything honestly this oil is amazing so just so you guys can see you can use this for your hair and scalp nails and body face and lips you can use it pretty much anywhere again doesn't matter where you get this just make sure you're getting the real stuff the pure essential oil that's natural unrefined chemical free to make sure you're getting that good 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 stuff but yeah highly recommend this if you have not tried rosehip seed oil i know there are a ton of really good essential oils and i might do a whole nother video dedicated to that and kind of the purpose of certain essential oils that i use and yeah i will leave it linked down below for you guys to check out and of course scoop it up if you can this is the core as jasmine lip butter by Corez. Is it Corez or Corez? I'm not sure. I'm gonna call it Corez because it sounds a little bit fancier, okay? Um, so I've been loving this lip butter all month long. I purchased this from Sephora and I really, really love this. I've heard really good things about this. This is just pretty much a lip butter, exactly what that is. A lip moisturizer, a lip butter. It has a nice sheer tint to it. I really, really like this. There's not much to say about this other than the fact that it really does moisturize your lips. It doesn't have like that chapstick feeling where you put it on and then you feel like you did nothing to your lips like because it just feels like you have like 
oil sitting on your lips almost. Um, it doesn't feel like that. It actually feels like it seeps into your skin. It moisturizes your lips. And since, like I mentioned, where I live, we experience some brutal winters, I always need to make sure that, especially in the winter time, I am really moisturizing my lips and I have something that I could really, really trust for my lips because my lips be playing me. They be getting real crusty, okay? And ain't nobody got time for the crusty lip look, okay? That is not a look that I'm going for, ma'am. If you are looking for a good lip moisturizer, lip butter, you should definitely get your hands on this. I received this beauty in my box. He charm for November I think it was I didn't even talk about it on camera because I really was slacking in November I hardly even got a chance to talk about it I spent most of November pretty sick though I don't know if you could hear it in my voice or if it sounds a little bit nasally but I was pretty much sick the whole month of November so if you're wondering what I was up to I was in my bed most of the month because I was just sick as a dog I wanted to give this palette a shout out because I absolutely love it. I've never heard of this brand, and I love that about BoxyCharm. If you haven't tried BoxyCharm, then you absolutely should. I'm like a BoxyCharm spokesperson over here. BoxyCharm has no clue who I am, but I'm like, over here, try BoxyCharm, get BoxyCharm, sign up for BoxyCharm. You get brands like this that you really don't even hear of. Personally, I've never heard of this brand, and now I'm so intrigued. I'm so intrigued by the formulation, the pigmentation, and just the overall formula of this palette. I think it's very, very beautiful. So yeah, if you haven't tried this brand out, or if you don't have BoxyCharm, then you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that you try this out. And if you got Boxy Charm and you put this to the side thinking that it wasn't going to be worth it, you need to dig it back out because it's really, really good. So I'm excited to keep using this. I might feature this like on an Instagram tutorial or maybe on a YouTube tutorial if you guys want to see like a makeup look with it. I don't know, something like that. But I absolutely love this. I'm really wanting to play with it a little bit more because I only did like two looks with it. They were really pretty looks, but like I said, I spent most of the month pretty sick and I, and I really hardly was filming. But I did want to mention it because, like I said, I got a couple uses out of it and I thought it was really beautiful both times that I used it. It blended really well, it was very pigmented, and it was just a really beautiful palette. So yeah, you guys, if you have not tried it out, then you definitely should. So I have a video on this already, but this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Mine is in the shade F10.5, and I love this foundation, you guys. I have a whole video dedicated to it, so if you're interested in seeing my full thoughts, full first impression, full wear test on this foundation, then there's a whole separate video dedicated to that. For me personally, as long as I'm pairing this with a mattifying primer, this is heaven on earth. Like, literally, this is a beautiful foundation. However, if I do not pair it with a mattifying primer, this is a disaster. I did try it out one time, not purposely, but I didn't wear my mattifying primer, and, and oh, daddy, I was looking like a disco ball at the end of the night because it just, it did not look right if I wasn't wearing a mattifying primer. So, highly, highly recommend that if you have oily skin, you get a mattifying primer that you trust, that you stand by, and you get this foundation because it wears beautifully, it stays on your face for a very long time, it has beautiful coverage, it just is a really, really nice, solid foundation, and it's only like $12. For coverage, I usually get like a solid medium to full it is very buildable and i highly recommend that you guys check it out if you're looking for a good affordable full coverage foundation and again if you are oily if you are oily i cannot stress it enough make sure that you are wearing a nice mattifying primer that you trust when you use this foundation all right so the very last makeup product that i wanted to talk about today is the makeup revolution luminous gold liquid highlighter I wanted to give this a shout out because I've actually not been putting this down. I'm not actually wearing it at this moment. I'm so mad at myself because I wasn't actually even planning to film this favorites video today. It, and the day that I was going to film this, I was going to wear this so that I could show you guys how pretty it looks on my skin. Um, but I got to say, you guys, this is such a nice liquid highlighter. This is what it looks like. She is glowy. She is here. She didn't come to play, okay? To me, this is comparable to the cover effects like Luminous Drop or something like that. Like this is a nice inexpensive version of, I feel like, those high-end more expensive ones. To me, I love it because it's not like a powdery highlight where it kind of looks like it's sitting on your skin. It kind of seeps into your skin and it makes you look like a disco ball but in the most radiant way and not in the most oh my god look at that 10 pounds of highlight she has sitting on her cheek right now does that make any sense like it looks like almost like your cheek actually swallowed that disco ball you know what I mean and it's kind of glowing from within that made no sense but you know I really don't make a lot of sense half the time I talk anyways. All right, you guys, so that's going to wrap up my November beauty favorites, at least the beauty section of this video. What I'm going to do now is kick it right off into my song favorites because y'all know those are coming, okay? Those are always here, okay? My song favorites, they always here, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right, let's get into it. I mean, obvious, really, really. You guys know me at this point. You guys know I'm basic. Where's my brush? Ooh, I love this song. 
Give it to me, Halsey. Tell me how it feels sitting up there, feeling so high, but you fall away to hold me, thinking you could live without me. Yo no me pienso quitar, but it means you. Ah, adictivamente, hazte con la ganas de probar más de ti. Déjame entrar como antes, cuando tú y yo éramos amantes. Baby, ya no te paro extrañarte, esto ha dado un giro interesante. Déjame entrar como antes. This is my jam, you guys. Eh, 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 eh. Parece buena, pero corro con su maña. No se ataya, que ella le caiga. Hey guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap up my November favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really do appreciate it so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then I want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe. And of course, no pressure, but I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.